So this is Adobe Photoshop. Um, you can see it actually looks a lot like Illustrator, which we've spent the last few weeks in. You've got tools on the left, you've got some uh, panels on the right, and a big clean area in the middle for you to work with. Um, now there are different types of workspaces, just like there are in Illustrator. So this is the design workspace, um, and it is going to get the type tool ready to use because you use that when you're designing. Uh, there's a painting workspace and it switches the panels. Most of the time we're going to spend our beginner class in essentials and uh, should you ever find that you have panels kind of all over the place and your workspace is a mess and this happens to a lot of us often as we're doing different work you can do the little pull down arrow here and first you can find some other workspaces in here but you can also go to reset essentials to snap everything back to the position that we're going to learn from now when we're in Photoshop a um, couple of points for us to know when you go to file new it's actually very simplified over what all the options we have there in Illustrator we've learned about uh, physical size and resolution so um, in here you want to make sure that your physical size is the size that you want it to be so I'm gonna make an image that's 11 by 14 or 14 by 11 and your resolution is what you want it to be usually we consider 300 uh, to be full photo quality uh, we work at 200 uh, to keep our network drive uh, nice and, and clean and usable um, and then we can click OK and we have this workspace. Now unlike Illustrator, we don't have a big desk to work on here. All we have is the document that we created. Um, on this document, Control minus will zoom out, Control plus will zoom in just like Illustrator, Control zero will zero your view, and hitting spacebar will give me a grabber hand so I can move my picture around while I'm zoomed in. Now unlike Illustrator, if I'm working here, and I'm just going to paint some random lines, um, if I'm working here and I want to undo some things, I can hit Control Z and then Control Z again and that line just comes back. So Control Z, which we're used to using for undo, really undoes one thing at a time. Instead, Photoshop uses what's called the history panel right here. I'm going to tear it off. Um, that records the last 20 or so things that we've done. Um, we can also use this history panel to make snapshots as we're working. So here's what the image looked when it originally opened. Here's what it looked like when I took that first snapshot. And then here are the different brush tools that I've done so far. So I can click back through a few different brush tools and slowly they start to disappear. And then maybe I can then um, start painting some additional lines. Maybe I want red this time. Okay, and I'll take a snapshot here so I can compare the different states of the painting that I've done so far. Pretty simple painting, but you can see how that would be applied to other places and other uh, workflows here in Photoshop. Now creating a new blank canvas isn't the only thing that we'll do in Photoshop when we're working though oftentimes we will and we want to make sure we pay attention to the size and the resolution when we do. Other times we may end up just opening pictures from say the internet. This image that it's opening right now is from one of the free uh, Creative Commons open source sorts of websites where we can grab some images. Um, so to do that I can drag and drop it in which is what I just did or I can go to file open and you've got open at, open as, open recent, or just file open, and you can navigate to the file just like anything else that you might do um, if you're opening, like, say, a Word document or a PowerPoint document, which you're used to working with. Another great way to open images, other than just doing file open or dragging and dropping, is this icon here. This is the mini bridge, and actually, they have the same icon up here uh, along across the, the bar here and there's a button for the full uh, the full on bridge bridge is sort of a file browser and file manager um, for Adobe programs uh, if you continue to learn Adobe stuff you'll see how powerful the bridge is uh, but even as a beginner it has a lot of benefits so if I click on the bridge button it'll take a second for it to load uh, from time to time but it pops up with uh, a little mini file browser 
So instead of going through um, File Open and going through Window or Mac's uh, File Browser, um, you can go into the Mini Bridge and start looking around. And it has different ways uh, to organize favorites and recent folders, recent files, collections. And, um, and it, I just have a lot more control over my files by going through the bridge. Now right now it looks like it's kind of slow. It's not always this slow. My video recording software slows this down a little bit. But it is a uh, very powerful way to find and organize images. And you can uh, open them up into Photoshop. Okay, so it's uh, asking me if it wants to uh, start at login. Okay, <clears throat> so it'll be faster next time I do this. So that is different ways to open up files in Adobe Photoshop, the basics of the workspace, and uh, the basics of the history panel uh, that we'll use a lot as we learn more about Adobe Photoshop.